So when you walk into the embalming room, you see two gurneys right away. And you're like, ooh, might be they have some stuff in here. But look at this. This place was shut down to unsanitary and deplorable conditions. Look at the blood. It looks like either blood or some type of bodily fluid. And you can literally see it up here too. We just got into this abandoned funeral home. Another abandoned funeral home. This one's legit too. Pretty sick. It's a newer closure. Um, and it looks like they might even start renovating soon. It's only been closed a couple of years, but it was shut down to uh, unsanitary and uh, deplorable conditions. So, gotta be quiet because the cops are literally right down the street. So, gotta be careful. And they were circling. So, gonna be have to be kind of like whispering. So, sorry about that. And uh, it's kind of dark in some rooms, but it does have full power. So, let's check it out. This abandoned funeral home was located in the southern United States. The funeral home was well known in the local community and helped thousands of families celebrate the lives of their loved ones over the years. However, in more recent years, the steady wave of success came crashing down on the funeral home shortly after new ownership took over operations. The first sign that trouble was on the horizon began in 2015 when a customer complaint prompted the state board to make an unannounced visit to the funeral home. And then, lo and behold, a casket. It's like a silver grayish color. <clears throat> Pretty cool. It really smells in here. It's bad. The odor's really bad. During the state board visit, authorities noted dirty, used embalming tools and equipment that was supposed to be sanitized. They found that the embalming room itself had not been cleaned for quite some time as they went on to find undrained bodily fluids, as well as both bloody sheets and gowns that were not properly disposed of. You can see reserved for the Paul Bear. This one reserved probably for the family. Oh, there you go, family. It's pretty cool, I don't see that too often. Pretty smooth. And look at this. Nice forest green casket. Pretty nice and polished. It's got like a bird on there. This color is a little bit more interesting. Going home. And with more birds. One of the authorities later stated that the embalming room resembled a slaughterhouse, so I'm sure you can imagine what it really looked like. The investigation did not stop at just the embalming room. As the authorities began investigating the funeral home's records and finances, more questions quickly arose. The investigation uncovered missing financial documents, which led to a state board placing the funeral home on a three year probationary period. Big boy casket there. Look at this viewing room. This is probably where they um, sold the caskets on display. A couple of baby blues in here. A couple of navy blues in here. This one's got some nice design on it. Another uh, tan one. Baby blue again. And there's the big daddy. Look at this wooden one. This wooden one's cool too. This three year probationary period would allow the funeral home to show that they were following through on their commitment to clean up their act. Then they could continue to operate. And if not, the funeral home would be shut down immediately. So three years later in 2018, the state board set a hearing with the funeral home's owner. The purpose of this hearing was to give the funeral home's owner a chance to redeem himself explain the unsanitary conditions and shoddy record keeping, and also to resolve the initial customer complaint. Unfortunately for the funeral home, neither the owner or anyone else showed for the hearing. Instead, the owner closed the funeral home down and fled the area. 
Once this happened, the state board was left with no other choice but to revoke the funeral home's permit and subsequently the owner's license. In 2019, the funeral home was permanently shuttered by the state. As of 2022, the funeral home still sits vacant, but did recently sell at an auction. So it will be very interesting to see what the future holds for this one-time successful funeral home. Look at all those caskets. So many of them. It's a shame. They just go to waste, probably. Hopefully they'll do something with it. Look at the baby one back there, too. I think it says, in loving memory of, of something like that. Look at that. This fat daddy. I have never seen a casket this big in my life. Look at this thing. It's enormous. Here's the vaults in the urns for purchase that you could buy. Name and date. All these different styles and stuff. And over here, there's even more. That one's cool. Venetian, this one name. Yeah, pretty cool. Look how big it is. Oh, I can't even open it, it's so heavy. Oh, Jesus. Here's that uh, baby thing, love and cherished. I don't know, maybe it's just a cremains holder or something. Maybe it's not a baby casket. Maybe I'm trying to embellish a little bit there. Here's that Woody. Let's check out the embalming room. Bodily fluids and blood and stuff still on the gurneys. That's wild. Nasty. Look at that. This place was shut down for stuff like this. Ugh. And it stinks. And then over here, it's actually a body lift. You kind of see that body lift there. Still, still in here. All right, and then if we go into here, the final room is the embalming room. So this room is really special because there's two slabs. light off. It's not going to make much difference. Look at these autopsy tools still here. Neck restraint. Porcelain. Drain with... Dude, I don't even want to know what that is. There's like hair and... Dude, I don't even know. Look at all this stuff. Looks like embalming fluid maybe. There's like bodily fluids on the table. <laughs> so gross. These tools are probably used and have. Oh, it is. Ugh. Look at that. Blood on them. So here you get a side view of the two slabs and the embalming machines. Another one here. There's some clippers and some embalming fluid and more tools. Look at that needle. You can see the cupboards are still full with all the stuff. And the dual slabs. Oh, neck restraint. This table doesn't seem to be as dirty as the other one. Another embalming machine there. 
And there's an older embalming machine there, old school one. Some old makeup. Those cupboards again, look at that. Just loaded with embalming fluid. Super cool. You guys know I love my funeral homes. Makeup, old, a dried out, old embalming machine. Here's the other two embalming machines next to each other. Jaundice fluid, cavicide, jaundy balm, eliminator, tissue solvent. Look at this needle. And that needle's probably been used, all these tools. Clippers. Well, that will do it for this abandoned funeral home. Funeral homes always make for a great explore, especially when they have some rather grisly history like this one did. Please subscribe to Abandoned Central so that you don't miss any of the other funeral homes and other great locations that we have coming soon. As always, thank you for your continued support.